What if I told you that during the Cold War, Soviet scientists might have discovered something that could revolutionize space travel forever? Then, mysteriously, all traces of their groundbreaking research vanished without explanation. In the 1960s, at the height of the space race, Soviet physicists began exploring radical new theories about gravity manipulation. Deep within secret research facilities, scientists led by Dmitry Saharov conducted experiments that defied conventional physics. Their goal? To develop technology that could counteract gravity itself. Reports from that era describe strange occurrences at the Moscow Institute of Physics. Objects supposedly losing weight in controlled experiments. Metal disks rotating against the laws of physics. Some documents even suggest they achieved partial gravity neutralization in small objects. The Soviet government poured millions of rubles into this classified research. Teams worked around the clock, pushing the boundaries of theoretical physics. By 1971, rumors spread through scientific circles that Soviet researchers had achieved breakthrough results with a device called the Podkletnov disk. Former Soviet physicist Eugene Podkletnov later claimed these experiments successfully reduced the weight of objects by up to 2%. While this might seem small, it represented a fundamental shift in our understanding of gravity. The implications for space travel and aviation were staggering. But then something strange happened. In the mid-1970s, all research suddenly stopped. Documents disappeared from archives. Scientists were reassigned to different projects. The entire program vanished as if it had never existed. Some theorized that the research hit a dangerous roadblock. Others suggest Western intelligence agencies might have intervened. A few believed the experiments were too successful, revealing secrets somebody wanted buried. Today, fragments of information continue to surface. Declassified KGB files mention experimental apparatus that could alter the gravitational field of objects. NASA documents from the 1980s reference Soviet gravity control experiments with surprising respect and curiosity. Modern scientists remain divided about what really happened in those Soviet laboratories. But one thing is certain, between 1960 and 1980, Soviet physicists pursued something revolutionary. Whether they succeeded remains one of the Cold War's most intriguing mysteries. Could the key to gravity manipulation still exist in some forgotten archive or abandoned laboratory? The answer might reshape our understanding of physics and space travel. Perhaps somewhere, gathering dust in a Moscow basement, lies the blueprint for humanity's next great leap into the cosmos.